two CDs out, plus a book, and now a television movie. It's hard to believe that our next guest is only 15 years old. She is so talented. Please welcome back to our program, Leanne Rhine. <laughs> I can't tell you've been crying on the inside I can't see right through your eyes what you tried to hide You got a real big wall covering a bunch of feeling for me Well come on baby, work it on out Can't tell you've been hurt real bad before, but your face to face will look like an natural door. songs is the brand new CD and as if that weren't enough for you little 15 year old <laughs> you wrote a book I did I co-wrote a book with Tom Carter uh, it's a fictional Christmas story called holiday in your heart now Leanne when do you have time to write a book on the road in between shows around one or two in the morning <laughs> really <laughs> yeah and you made this into a TV movie yeah we, we made it into a movie that's gonna be on uh, December 14th on ABC and um, I'm really excited about it, it was my first movie ever so uh, it was a little interesting, but it was a lot of fun for me. Did you find it tough, the hours? It was very tough. Yeah. I mean, I was working, like, you know, between, eight, it was anywhere from 8 to 14 hours a day. I mean, it was really just, it was really hard and, and take after take. But I had a lot of fun at it. It was a neat experience. At least I learned. Now, the book is, and the movie, a little autobiographical about a young girl who it becomes is. a big star? It's, it's, it's very fictional, but it's also a little bit autobiographical because it is about a young singer who, um, who gets to you know get a, gets to sing at the Grand Ole Opry, which is her dream, and um, it's it's kind of autobiographical for me because that's always what I wanted to do. So well, we have Bernadette Peters in the film with yeah. you. We got a little clip of you standing on oh, the stage cool. at the Grand Ole Opry. Great! I have I haven't even seen this yet. Oh well, take a look. I think you'll enjoy oh, it. Hey. I saw it right before the show. <laughs> take a look time. at Leanne Rhymes right here. When you stand there, you're standing where all the great ones stood, like you. The real great ones, like Kitty Wells, Patsy Montana, Johnny Cash. 
Hank Williams. You know what I'm talking about? Well, yeah. But you forgot to mention Roy Acuff and Bob Wills. You don't know them. Take me back to Tulsa, Wabash, Cannonball. What about Merle Travis? 16 tons, divorce me, old Mountain Dew. Well, that was long before you was born. How do you know all this stuff? Boys know baseball statistics. I know country. I grew up on it. A swing. That's Your cool. acting debut. That's so cool. I'm excited. Did you know Bernadette before you did that? No, that was the first time I got to meet her. I was such a huge fan of hers because uh, Annie was like my favorite show of all time. And right. uh, she was in that. And I was, it was a real thrill for me to work with her. She's so sweet. Now I know from your TV special, which I loved and you were so great at. Oh, thanks. You were like singing and emceeing and interviewing mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Winona was on it. Why was on it? You love her, right? I love her. She has been such a big influence on me ever since I was really little. <laughs> but, <laughs> she'll love that. She'll love that oh, right yeah. now. She always, oh yeah, she always tells me I make her feel old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's really she's become a good friend of mine. She's one of the sweetest ladies, and I really have a, a high respect for her. Um, she's a wonderful businesswoman and a wonderful singer and a great mom. She really is. She really is. She is, is a yeah. wonderful mom. Her two kids are so cute. And how great was it when she was singing and she called you on stage? Was that rehearsed when she called you to do the encore? No, with her? I was over there jamming with her and her band. <laughs> I was on the side of the stage just listening and having fun and. All of a sudden, she just says, come here. And I'm like, me? She's like, yeah, come on. So she gives me her mic, and I get out there and sing No One Else on Earth with her. And that was, that was the biggest thrill of my life, to yeah. sing with her. Yeah, she cool. is really great. She really is. Have you met other people that, you know, inspired you when you were a kid? Yeah, I mean, I've met um, one person I got to meet the other day, which was the coolest thing in my life. I've been a huge fan of Aerosmith for a long time. Yeah. And Steven Tyler was doing a show in Boston. And Steven Tyler came to one of my shows. And I was, on, uh, I was on stage and I had air monitors and they were telling me, you know, Steven Tyler's here. Mary Smith, I was like, no, he's not. No, they're lying to me because they all knew I wanted to meet him. And I walked back and he's waiting in my dressing room with his two kids and his wife and his wife's sister. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was just so, I was so starstruck by him. But I didn't, I didn't know how to react because there's so many rock music. I've never met anybody like that. Right. And he just comes up and hugs me and says, hey, how you doing? I was like, man, you're cool. So <laughs> it was so neat. Who would have thought, Mr. Walk This Way? Was a Lee and Rhymes fan. That's he a nice thing He's to like, know. I love your music. I listen to you every morning taking my kids to school. I was like, oh, really? I mean, it was so neat. It was just really a big thrill for me. Well, listen, you're 15, and I, you got like 50 more years ahead of you <laughs> of hit, putting out number one hits and meeting everyone so. you ever admired. You're really fabulous. Thank and so you. poised and articulate. Lee and Rhymes, this is the book. Watch the TV movie. December 14th on ABC. You light up my life, the CD. The first CD was blue. It still is. There it is. Hello. What am I doing? Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Dora Lee and Nancy.